Welcome back. School's out, but Superintendent Chris Moran, busy as always. Nice to see you here. It's good to be back. Let's talk about the importance as we do, or at least we did last week too, about literacy and reading during the summer. Right. So we've got a lot of things going on this summer for kids. We encourage parents to look at our website and look at the opportunities for kids to engage in some of the resources we have online that the kids are aware of, like Khan Academy. But the biggest one that we're really excited about this summer is a partnership with Tom Green County Library and through the Sora app, it's S-O-R-A, parents should control this, they should review it, but it's age appropriate uh, books, e-books, uh, audio books that kids have free access to online through the Tom Green County Library. From home on vacation, no matter where they are. That's right, and they can do that through the app, but again, with any app, I, th I would encourage parents to review it, make sure they're right. comfortable with it, and be in control of what their kids are looking at and reading. But it should all be age appropriate. We've checked that. I feel good about that, <laughs> but as a parent, I encourage parents to check that out. So that is great, and it's so easy, and you can do it from anywhere, literally. All you That's need right. is a tablet or a phone. We want kids to read this summer. And all kinds, I guess a variety of subjects, too, obviously, That's right. That's through right. the Tonguin County Library. What a great thing. Yes. Let's talk about summer meals, too. That's important. Of course, a lot of children get yeah. breakfast and lunch free during the school yeah. um, time. And we've reminded parents of this the last month, but we just want to reiterate that we have uh, the summer feeding program going on. The locations, times, and all of that are on the website. But anybody up to the age of 18 should feel free to come get a healthy breakfast, healthy lunch no ID required, you know, uh, and so we just encourage families to take advantage of that. And you don't have to register, and again, you don't even have to be a student. You have to just That's be correct. 18 or under. Under 18 or 18? Uh, 18 or under. 18 or yep. under. That's right. And the best thing to do, because the locations change and the times are different, so that's where you need to go to the school district Absolutely. website to get the latest on that information. Absolutely. Tell us about this other really interesting program that you all are starting to get more families engaged with their children's studies. All right, Strong Fathers, Strong Families. It's an organization that works and their sole purpose is to get dads connected with kids and the school and a lot of, of kids don't have a dad at home so it's a trusted adult it could be a mother an uncle a pastor but this program connects families with the schools and we we have a bring your dad to school day and again it doesn't have to be a dad it can be a trusted adult we have moms that come and we'll be doing that at all of our elementary schools so any pre-k to five uh, fifth grade kid will experience this bring your dad to school will happen we'll also have a bring your dad to science night math night and reading night and the the goal again is to connect families to the campuses and get our parents engaged with their kids in the education. What is it about one simple organized event like that that can really inspire? I mean, it's you. so you make the commitment and everybody's busy, but you actually do it and you come away with all kinds of inspiration. There's something magical about a dad and a mom or an uncle or an aunt coming to the school, meeting the teacher, being in the classroom and seeing the good things going on and really understanding what they have uh, as a resource in this community with public schools. And then how does that help with students and families and school district relationship? Yeah, I, you know, if I know that teacher and I've seen what happens in the classroom and my child comes home and tells me what's going on, I'm a little more comfortable to pick up the phone and talk to that teacher and vice versa. The teachers feel more comfortable visiting with the parents when we connect and talk, things are much better. And it's not that hard to do. You just make right. that first step and you do it. And to get more information about that program, that'll be happening in the fall. We'll be sending flyers out to parents and communicating as school begins, but it'll be throughout the school year at every elementary campus. Okay, sometimes flyers don't get to parents too, so it'll, that'll be on the website. Go to Absolutely. the website for everything you need. Dr. Uh, Dr. Moran, nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. We're